Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to L.A. Noir here, when we are starting out as a rookie detective, having been a patrolman for goodness knows, actually not that long. I think we were kind of pushed through a little quickly, uh, but we've got our new partner, Bukowski, and we need to go deal with uh, a suspicious vehicle, because now we're part of traffic, it makes sense that we have to do that. Um, let's get in the car. And you know see what place? we need to do. Sir, near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse. I'll direct. All units of 459 so, have tell me a little about seven. yourself, Phelps. Well, are we friends now? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant, fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home, did a year on the beat, now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed four oh boy. Japs on this hill in Okinawa. Run. <coughs> no, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready, finished. Let's not kill everyone. Himself, Let's not kill people if we can. <laughs> I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of LA safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riot. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my part. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2 identified. I don't think we're going to follow that. We'll just keep going with the main quest here. Um, it's interesting that Phelps was only sent out to Japan in 45. I'm so sorry, sir. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that we only went out in 45. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. That is the third time you've mentioned it, actually. Here we are. We're about, we're about here. Okay, so we're at the freight depot. It's definitely not the road we came in from, but go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Thanks, Jeff. Nothing, old Jeff, but I'm gonna call you Jeff. Ooh, the coroner's here. Back to work, the detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. That's a lot of blood in that car, by the way. I don't know if it's the humans, but we're going to have to find out, because there's a lot of blood there. This is your okay. first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Mikowski. Thanks you're okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to be very popular within this department, because we got pushed through the... You know, we got there straight away, whereas for them, they've been waiting a long old time uh, to get to become part of the, you know, Bukowski here. It took six years before he got promoted from a patrolman. It really took, what, a year? Having come back from Japan? So, yeah, uh, interesting. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Okay, let's have a look at the crime scene, shall we? We will speak to you in a second. Maybe we'll start with the coroner, see what... He has to say for me, if anything. First of all, let's have a look in the trunk, maybe. Uh, there's a pipe here. Okay, nothing there of particular interest. This might prove a bit more useful, though. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. Why would he need a live pig? Is that the blood in the car? Do we think that's the blood in the car, maybe? Um, there's something over here. I can see a yellow kind of 
marker. Is this his wallet? Or the wallet found in the car, I would presume? Thirty-two years old, married, sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Okay, so Adrian Black's wife, we can go have a talk to her, presumably she's still alive. Happier times, I guess. You say it looks a like happy time, so it's actually a rather creepy looking photo, but that might just be the art style. <laughs> Uh, anything from the glasses that we can gather or gleam? Uh, oh no, I'll bring them back, bring them back. I don't want to get rid of them just yet. <laughs> uh, stencil glasses. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but it's good to know. There's a lot of people looking at us. Um, I presume this is the, the weapon, the murder weapon. Insta heat, interesting. It's a lot of blood. I uh, don't know if there's anything. Oh, there's. Okay, we can have a look at something over here. There's a lot of blood in this car. Blimey. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Almost too much blood. Way too much blood, really, I would feel. Let's go have a talk to this chap here. See what he has Sir, to say for me. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. A strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. That makes sense. Um, why, why were you at the scene anyway? Why I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Uh, do I have any reason to doubt that? I don't think so. We know he's, you know, we know he works here. I think that's fine. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Okay. Um. Do you know anything about Adrian Black? Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. This guy seems quite truthful. He doesn't seem to be shifting his head or anything, because normally sometimes they kind of just look really, really suspicious. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of spilled it out. Um, the wallet. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Oh, oh, I don't know. That, you look very shifty, because you, you, you've been very, like, straight-faced with us before, so the fact you're not straight-faced now, I think I doubt what you're saying. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. And do you know anything about the blood stained pipe we found? A steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Again, I don't think I have any reason to doubt that. Like I said, he's been very straight-faced apart from that wallet instance. So I think it's truth. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. You got it. He's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. Uh. Unless the coroner has anything to say to me. Doc. Detective. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. I like I like the fact that he hasn't even bothered to check the trunk. I mean, obviously, we've checked the trunk. We know he's not there, but... 
I find it funny that they might not have even bothered to check the trunk in the first place. Ooh, we can make our partner drive. That's quite useful, actually. Let's do that. You can drive. We'll go Bye. to the Black Residence. Where are we headed? Set his destination. That's probably uh, speeds us up quite a bit, which would be nice. Um, but yeah, we I'm intrigued because we have a lot of blood but no body. So either he was killed in the car and then was moved somewhere else, or it's not a real murder. But we just need to find out which one it is. But here we are at the Black Residence. Presumably to speak to the wife and give her the terrible news that her husband is dead, we think. It's a nice house, though. I like the little kind of... Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. I like this kind of little... I don't know if you call it like a veranda over the um, over the pathway. I like that a lot. Yeah, let's go say hello. Just a minute. No, you need to hurry up. Your husband is dead, or something similar. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Thank you, Mrs. Black. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned. And I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We, we've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window. At the side of the house. Okay, well, we're going to need to go and, and have a look at that to ensure that that's the same pipe. Take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Right, investigate the black residents. I think the first thing we want to probably do is go outside. There's got to be something in here to go on. I think we want to go. She said. She said by the kitchen, didn't she? Let's go have a look and find where that heater is. Was this the heater? The boiler? Ah, insta heat. Oh, we got a bit of a puzzle to. Okay. Let's start with this piece here. Um, I want to put it, I think, up here. That looks about right. Uh, let's get the other orange pipe. There's only so many places the orange pipe can go, so we'll put it there. Uh, we'll go for this kind of corner piece next. We're kind of just re trying to rebuild everything, aren't we? That doesn't look right. That fits, I think. Just about. There we go. Um, okay, well, we have a missing piece. Presumably, that's the... So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Yeah, so definitely someone of... Someone who knows him pretty well. Let's go back and see if there's anything inside the house. I don't think there's anything else outside the house we need to check on. Um, but let's just double check the rest of the house. Make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, we've got a newspaper here. Interesting. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, your friend of Courtney's. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Some very suspicious music going on in the background for that. And you look very creepy and like you're smiling while you're doing it. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. The occasions that made you laugh. The times that made you smile. OK, 
Okay, so we've got like a, a therapist or something similar. But he seems a little bit creepy, in all honesty. Just trying to think if there's anything else we need to have a look at. There's something here. Ah, the Insta Heat. Let's have a look. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. 8250, not bad at all. Uh, let's just have a look and make sure there's nothing else on... I mean, this is just a brochure, but we can at least... Have a look, see if there's anything there we need to have a look at. I wonder if someone in the house bought this unit, knowing how they would use the parts. Interesting. Okay, well maybe we need to go have a talk to the wife. I think it's probably everything we found... So far, unless there's anything kind of in the bedroom or something like that. Well, Bukowski seems to be having the first go at it. So we've got something here. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Interesting. I wonder if the murder was faked. I wonder if the murder was faked and he used the pig's blood to um if he used the pig's blood to fake his own death. Because we've got a train ticket here. But I might be wrong. Okay. Oh no, I always press the <laughs> always press the wrong button there. Let's try that again. Anything there of interest for us? To my Adrian, love sick and lonely without you. Hurry back, my darling, Nicole. More and more interesting. Does indeed. Okay, I think we probably have most of the things. Let's go check the actual bedroom, like the main bedroom, because we were just in the guest bedroom there. There's definitely something here we can pick up. Separate bedroom. Separate pictures? What gives here? Oh, I didn't realise there were separate pictures and separate bedrooms. That's an uh, interest. Oh yeah, single bed. I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even make the connection there. Okay, I think... We've got enough to go on that this is perhaps not a happy marriage. We'll have to go ahead and have a speak to the lady. Um, do you, Okay, let's first of all... Do you know where... Your husband is. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Okay, who's Frank? Um, don't have any reason to doubt that, I don't think. So nothing out of the usual, then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. <laughs> oh yes, photographs side Nicole. Oh, but she's called Margaret. Do I suspect uh, an affair? I think I probably do. Uh, where were you when Mr. You Black was murdered? Up, Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Um... Do I think that's a lie? Oh, There's a little bit of that shifty glance to the side. It might just be that she's upset with everything. Let's just have a quick look at the notebook. Do I have any reason to doubt what she's saying to me? I don't think I do. Um, truth? Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Okay. Um, we'll start with the glasses. I don't know what the significance of the glasses is, but we'll give it a go. Yes, he just bought a new pair.
again, I have no reason to doubt that information, but she keeps on doing that weird shifty glance thing. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Um, we'll get to the Nicole bit in a second. Let's ask about the pig. In the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Okay, we definitely need to have a chat with Frank Morgan. Um, again, I don't have any reason to particularly doubt her, because she's been doing that shifty glance thing all the time. I wonder if that's just kind of her upset face. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. And let's get on to the uh, the tough question. The photograph signed Nicole. The photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Oh. I don't know. It's quite hard to read her face. Do I go for truth again? What was the purpose oh, I got it wrong. Trip to Seattle, I got that. <laughs> he was meeting with some distributors. Adrian said that it was important to make contact interstate if he was going to grow his business. Oh, we got that last question wrong. That's annoying. Um, but I think... We have enough to go on. We go speak to Mr. Frank Morgan. Is there, what's this blue circle inside? Let's have a quick look. Oh, this is the phone. Can I use the phone for anything? I guess not. <laughs> okay, let's go to the car. I think there's probably some other places we can go to yet. You know the way. You can drive. Uh, where are we going? Uh, apparently, we don't have everything we need. What else can we do? Excuse me, sir. We need to find out where Frank Morgan or some of these people live. Hmm. We've already spoken to her fully. What are we missing? A plane? Nothing significant. No, no, as Phelps says, nothing significant. But we are missing something here. Can I speak to Bukowski? So what next? Make sure you cover all the rooms. We don't want to miss anything. Okay, we definitely missed something then. Nothing in there. We're missing something. We need to find out what it might be. Well, there's something here. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Okay, what do we think Cavanaugh's is? Ah, oh, it's a bar. Was a patron. R and I should have an address. Okay, at least that gives us somewhere to go. Now we can use the phone. I wonder what the phone was for, because it was clearly there for some reason. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Thank you, ma'am. Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks for your help. Okay, let's go. Let's go investigate the bar, because I think we're done here for the most part. We might well need to come back, but we can at least get going. You drive. And let's make him drive to Kavanaugh's bar. 
And where exactly are we going? Especially as this is a bar frequented by Agent Black, it should give us some more clues. Um, but I do think it might not be a real murder, but we'll have to see. We don't know, of course, but hopefully this bar will be able to tell us a bit more information. No, you don't. <laughs> Root beers all around, doll. Okay, let's go speak to the barman. It's probably the first you know port Frank of call. Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Okay, Frank Morgan. <laughs> let's go have a chat to you. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Okay, your friend Morgan. Let's have a quick Colfax, chat. LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Um, what link do you have to the abandoned vehicle? Found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. Do you know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're definitely lying, but... You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Oh, We've got the receipt for the live hog, but that doesn't necessarily mean he was at the rail yard. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt Ooh, in the trunk. Oh, we were correct. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right already. That fool Adrian's falling for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Oh, it was, we were correct. We thought it was the case. Uh, where is he? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. That's also... Uh, but let's just have a look at our notebook. Make sure we know what we're doing here. We've got a train ticket. Um... Oh dear, wrong one. Oh, he's looking. Do I do doubt? He's looking quite truthful, to be honest. How was he getting? Ah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a greyhound? You guys ought to go try the terminal on Sunset. Okay, we got that wrong. Uh, received the life hold. What's with all the blood? I don't know. It was dark. He must have caught a nick on something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... Again, I don't believe that. You're lying, Morgan. You killed Black and hid the body. Where is it? Me? Hey, all I did was help the fool. You're gonna need a lot more than that to prove that I hurt him. Could we use the Insta-Heat receipt? Um, do we have anything to pin it on him? We've got the bloody pipe, but it doesn't look that. Looks like I was mistaken. I don't think we have anything to actually pin on him, so we'll go for doubt. We have you for aiding and abetting a criminal conspiracy. You want me to come up with some other charges, Morgan? We bought a small hog and put it in the trunk. We got to the rail yard. I cut the pig's throat and drained the blood into a bucket. Splashed the blood all around the car. Adrian hit the pig a couple of times with the pipe to make the pipe look convincing. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. Okay, we've got two out of three correct there. You tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. I'm fine with that. I'm, a, I'm up for a bit of espionage. I don't mind that at all. We've got a few questions wrong, but that's okay. Hey, here he goes looking incredibly suspicious. 
good thing he didn't look left instead of right. My goodness, we were just sitting there waiting for him, but like, <laughs> very obviously waiting for him. Okay, let's go. Um, we need to. Okay, we need to tear from a safe distance. We can't go too far or too close. We need to keep an eye on him, that's for sure. And we also need to not. We need to not drive like a lunatic. Um, you know, but he's driving. Oh goodness! That would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. That's very true. I'm so sorry, Bukowski. Let's try not to be too suspicious with our driving. Oh, we're getting too close. Back off. Back off. Okay, we we got too close there for a second. At least he's indicating. He's a good driver. Let's turn. We don't want to lose him either. Oh, he's kind of slowing down. We'll stay behind this red car. Use that to our advantage, hopefully. Oh, oh, we're getting a little bit too close to my liking. He's turning right as well. We'll go with him. We'll go through the red lights. Which is definitely not suspicious if you're turning someone, but let's give it a go. Sorry, gents, coming through. Ooh, Cola King. Delicious. Let's make sure we don't get too close to him, but also too far away. It's kind of a tough balance to get right. We're getting a little bit too close there. Oh my goodness. Sir. Oh, we need to catch up to him. Drive, drive, drive. Okay. We've caught up. Oh, we're way too close, way too close, way too close, way too close. Ah, oh, he discovered us. Damn. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, here we are. We've actually managed to do it this time. Let's see where he heads off to. Well, let's, let's go to his apartment and see what we can find out. Let's get out of the car. I don't think we need it anymore. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? Lots of fun, Bukowski. Absolutely. I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Spell. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work on this. Yep, fair play. Number two. That's the one we want. Two. Okay, let's go. No lift, we're just going to have to take the stairs. Problems want to forward this way. We want number two for memory. There we go. Let's give it a go. Who the hell is that? Oh, there he is. Relax. Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Hi, hi, fellas. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LAPD, give yourself up now. Chase him. Let's go. Mr. Black, he's got himself in a lot of trouble. Which way has he gone? Where's this way? Come here, Mr. Black. I'm coming after you. You shouldn't have cheated on your wife. Slide, 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 slide. Let's chase him. It's over, Adrian. Right there, Adrian. But the car's there, wonderful. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. It's no, definitely it's not easier. Harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. I'm sure she wasn't. But there we go. Adrian Black has been nabbed and taken back to the police station. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. 
Okay. Captain Gordon Leary likes us. Wonderful. And the driver's seat has been completed without, hopefully, too much incident. Frank Morgan would have rolled over an ancient black for some tough questioning, so we probably wouldn't have needed to tell him back. We got nearly every question, nearly every clue found, so I'm, I'm not too upset about that. We got most of it correct. What's next for Cole Phelps and Stefan Bukowski? The console's car. Interesting. What are we expecting to do here? Okay, we're going to keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We've got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. You got a boss. Make me resubmit the paperwork. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Yep. Agreed. So, there we go. We've dealt with Adrian Black. And we are off on our next case. But thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.